Welcome back to another game, rated game actually, between Dark Noob playing the yellow, yellow as Aztecs and Rakond in purple as the Rumis. They are talking a little bit about former games from Dark Noob here. Dark Noob saying you cannot win against Terra anymore. This is from October, but it was before Dark Noob became an official clown, winning the Who Wants to Be Clown uh, weekend tournament. And Dark Noob here, Aztecs. Aztecs considered in AOC the strongest civilization on arena. Nowadays you have Aztecs, Malay, Burmese, and that means Drakond with the way higher rating here should be able to defend this and not lose it like in, what do I know, 25 minutes. I'm not sure what to play here. What are we going to expect? From Aztecs we expect to see monks and eagles, I guess, with the main gold, second gold and extra gold safe in the back. Really nice for Dark Noob here on the map. Second stone outside, third gold on the left hand side, outside is got deer inside. They can actually go out of here. And this is actually closed. So yeah, I haven't seen a pocket with those deer too often, but it happens sometimes. And that means I'm missing the main stone, which is forward towards the con space actually. The map from Dark Noob looking decent decent one. Really close to this base here, this one between the two players. Let's actually check the cons map. He of course can see the relics. So he knows where Dark Noob is from the relic positions. He's got the main gold forwardish, then the second stone outside, deer outside. Uh, we have the second and third gold on the left hand side outside, that's the far side technically. The main stone is pretty safe, extra berries which don't really matter. So Trucon's map really not too good and that means Dark Noob might try and use this fact that he's got a way better map to put pressure on Trucon here. Dracon should have the experience to not lose to a early, like, a feudal age trash or early castle age rush here. But I never know, you never know what happens. And I'm pretty excited to see how this game is going to go forward because I'm not sure what the best strategies here are between Aztecs, Burmese, Malay. We have stables coming up and the blacksmith for Dracon, so he is planning to go for at least a few scouts. Market blacksmith on the way for Dark Noob. I guess he may add in a few barracks later or just go for uh, like one or two monasteries, but the barracks coming up immediately. It makes sense. We are also going to see, oh, I thought maybe a TC here. But maybe Dark Noob wants to play an aggressive game here. Go for Eagle Scouts, Eagle Warriors then and just play 1TC for now. Dracont is not going with the castle. He's not on stone. So he's going to go probably 3 TCs after getting a defensive monastery, defensive siege workshop maybe. Something like that. And try to get at least one of those relics. Probably 2 or 3 because the relics are quite good for him. We have one extra gold here close to neutral relic. And we also have two relics close to Dracont which should help him. We've seen, I think, everything there is to know. Let's wait for the castle age. Dracont actually there first, but only by four seconds. Not a big difference. He's not going for light calf yet. 700 wood in the bank. We have one TC on the main stone coming up. Another TC probably either on the main goal or on the, or on the wood line. And we have the light calf upgrade, upgrade coming in. Double monastery. Are we going to see eagle warrior upgrade here from Dark Noob? Not yet. Doesn't have the food for that. But he's producing a lot of Eagle Scouts and going for the first two monks. He's got a few villages on gold. That's actually 10, 10 villages right now. And we are going to see more villages on gold very soon. Sanctity on the way. The first monks moving out to get that relic between the two players. Makes sense. On the left hand side, light calf upgrade done for Dracond. Taking down two Eagle Warriors. No, sorry, two Eagle Scouts. The Siege Workshop coming up from Dark Noob immediately. He wants to break in, but this villager might even die here. No loom, but no. Actually, Dracond going back saying that it's five eagle scouts and there's two monks close plus very close to uh, dark noob space so i'm not going to engage this house and 50 it's not a big problem battering ram on the way loom coming up for trakant trakant has those six light calf two monks out and uh, third extra TC plus he bought no he uh, took 100 stone so he could even go for TC number four I think he will prefer to go castle in the mid to late castle age it makes more sense people are on the way nice boom coming up for him 46 villagers and we have the ram taking down that wall quite quickly only eagle scouts for dark I'm a little bit surprised to see that I expected him to go eagle warriors because he's got so many of them maybe forgot about it I'm not sure resources looking good for dark nope enough to get that Eagle Warrior upgrade without too many problems. It's not happening. Now a few Eagle Scouts going into the ramp. The stable is next. Plus the TC on the gold is getting attacked here. The Count resources should look decent and he is building a castle between the main TC and the main gold. 
That means the main goal should be a little bit safer and can st uh, still get attacked from anyone else. But with this castle up, uh, the main food eco around the main TC will be safe for Trukont at least for some time. We run away from Dark Noob, who still only has one TC, I assume. Yeah, not no news there. And Lightcap moving around to try and snipe a monk also. Trukont is going for that extra gold immediately. He knows he might be out of gold soon if Dark Noob is uh, continuing his attack. Now, finally, Eagle Warrior upgrade on the way. Dark Noob currently preferred to go for economy first, doing Wilbur. And only then go for the Eagle Warrior upgrade. Now he will need it, plus one attack, but no defensive upgrades at all, which is surprising for me. At this point, Trekont is just using a few light cap to defend, and that castle in the middle, which is holding his base together. The TC on the main goal is down, the monastery might fall next, fur run away from Dark Noob as well, and the light cap can't really do anything. So, looking quite good for Dark Noob here, he's also on. 43 villagers at this point, he is not looking too bad when it comes to economy and he should be able to go up to Imperial Age once he stops You're producing too many Eagle Warriors. Yes, looking good actually. Dracont, I think, will try to click up as fast as he can now and then it uh, should be interesting to see what Imperial Age will give us. We might see standard infantry from Dracont, we might see Iron Bio production started and elephants probably not, probably not the best choice here, still possible, husbandry and bloodlines actually coming up, so maybe hussars for uh, Dracon in the near future, and also getting upgrades for the iron buy, so I don't know, not sure what's going to happen here, doesn't look like uh, hussars or light cap or more light cap at the, uh, right now, and at this point we have TC coming up, uh, sorry for that. Castle on the way for Dark Noob, Iron Casting for Dracon, few more houses, Game Mail Armor as well. We are going to see Elite Eagle Warrior. We have Dracon not going to Imperial Age, I'm surprised. He's staying in Castle Age, he's now switched to Light Cap with four stables coming up. Uh, they are up actually. And Dark Noob will go for the Trebuchets, will try to take down that castle. What is Trukon doing? Any counter attacks? He's just garrisoning his army on the side, putting a lot of farms. I guess we will see a mill here. And he's trying to protect his second and third gold. Terminal armor, arson, block printing, elimination coming out. Trukon going for fletching, I guess for the castle. Doesn't have any ranged units other than the Aaron by. And they don't benefit from fletching boat can arrow or a bracer. And now the first trebuchet hitting that castle. Theocracy also on the way. Handcart coming in from Dracont. And Dracont is using the fact that this map is quite open on the left hand side to get more economy. Dark Noob is completely focusing on the right where Dracont's main map and the main goal is. We have the second stone being taken by Dark Noob. Makes sense. Do that as long as you can. He could also go for his second and uh, second stone, third gold. He's not doing that. And he's got monks here to see. See, there is a TC up for Dracon. So now Dark Noob knows Dracon. Yeah, he's just sent the Eagle Warriors. He knows, uh, all right, there is more economy on the left. So I may, uh, may try and focus there as well. Go for some attack, for some raiding. Problem is, Dracon, 34 village military units, has a pretty strong army here. Long swordsman on the way. We are going to see the standard infantry actually, and they are quite good for the Burmese. The, the champions do benefit from. The additional Pierce armor, is that correct? I think so. Uh, let's see, or is it an attack up, uh, bonus? I don't know. There was something about Burmese infantry, wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I'm. Uh, I have the wrong sieve in mind. 9 plus 4 attack. I think it's the attack upgrades. Malians have the defensive, but oh yeah, Burmese gets plus attack, not plus defense, and that's plus 3 bonus as far as I remember. 1 per age. Trebuchet is now. Um, Unpacking, attacking the barracks, and that's five, six, seven barracks. They should go down quite fast. And Dark Noob is actually uh, doing the right thing here, in my opinion, which is going for the military buildings that can do the most harm, most harm to you. There's a lot of long swordsmen on the field, but no 200 swordsmen upgrade coming up yet. The two monks going down, light cap on the left hand side. There's those pet arts we've seen before. They are moving towards uh, Dark Noob space, and if you are actually able to go into an Aztec player space who has only one. TC, he, uh, that person might be in trouble, in this case Dark Noob, Dark Noob has a big army, 69 military units against 61, and now we're going to see the big battle here, the first big battle of the game, Iron Bai and Long Swordsman from one side, Light Calf on the other side, there is even Jaguar Wars out, and Jaguar is a decent choice here I think, not a bad idea, 
Trebuchet is going down, at least two of them, two more remaining, and there's a few Mangonel stuff. The problem is Dracont has more military units here, it seems, and those Eagle Warriors are not attacking. They are not elite Eagle Warriors. There is not enough Jaguar Warriors. The Monk going in the, into the cast and the rest of Trebuchets will go down. And if Dracon was able to attack at the same time as he's doing that big fight, I think Dark Knight could have called the GG here. Like this, Dracon is in the score lead by 2k points. He's the way better economy, he has a lot more military units, and he is looking to win this game here. On the right hand side, not a lot is happening, and it looks like Dracon is going for the second stone. Could even go for that main gold if he wanted to. Dark Noob is not covering that the castle as far as I can see. Dark Noob now is in trouble. He's going for a second TC finally, and that's way too late in my opinion. He should have switched to a second TC earlier on. Like this, it's gonna be very hard to come back into, the, into this game. You're 60 population, no, 70 population behind almost. And Dracon, who is in Castle Age, is just going for Rams. Now, forward Castle against the Town Center number three. That's a little bit unlucky. Ooh, can Dark Noob actually stop this castle? From going? No, he doesn't see it. If he's garrison the villages, he might be able to attack. Yes. Dracon, are you going to force finish this? I think he just needs to send the Rams a few light cap. There's actually more pet arts on the way. And. Yeah, Dark Noob has that castle in the middle, but Dracon has positioned himself all around. He's doing more castles to protect his newly built economy on the, out on the outside. A lot of farms here, makes a lot of sense. He's still got a few barracks and Dark Noob is low on resources and cannot build too many more military units. You can see Dark Noob is also trying to uh, lock that castle to wall it in. This is not going to happen and Dracon, I think, has enough villagers now to finish this castle. Uh, TC is not focus firing the villagers. Dracon is looking good here. Dark Noob is moving to the right hand side. I'm gonna go a little bit faster again. This is too slow for my taste. And the cast is up. TC going down. Dark Noob panic walling behind this uh, wall here. But there is the pet arts moving in and once the iron buys are going into that economy. Dark Noob will be in a uh, lot of trouble. And look at this, the second TC is garrisoning the wood villagers. First TC is garrisoning a lot of those farmers. That means a lot of idle villagers now. Only 57 and more than half of them are idle. Dracont is completely controlling this game and I think it's time for Dark Noob to call the Chi-Chi. He was not able to go in, was not able to go Elite Eagle Warriors. Was too late to stop this economy from going up, I guess at least. Maybe should have delayed his Imperial Age a little bit longer, go for more military units, I don't know, or switch to economy earlier on. It's really hard to say for me because Aztecs, Burmese and Malay, I think uh, they're probably among mm, expert players is a strategy developed or everybody has a strategy which he says, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, going to do with Aztecs against Burmese, against Malay and the other way around. Looks like Dracon figured out a better strategy or maybe he was performing better, I'm not sure. But in this game he definitely is winning and it's just a matter of time, I guess, before Dark Noob has to call it GG, even though it's in Imperial Age, but no elite upgrades. Those Trekia Warriors will die into the Iron Bay. Castle will go down, the castle in the middle is gone already, and the Rams are taking on the other castle here. Very well played by Dracon. Good um, attempt by Dark Noob using the Aztec's power, but in the end, Dar Dracon, somewhat defended, was able to do that with only a few light calf and that castle in the middle. That was very important here. And come back stronger with a better economy, with more military units, win the game. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next game. GG.